Estimator Roof Polygonal Roof Screen. This screen allows you to estimate for pentagonal, hexagonal, heptagonal and octagonal roofs. It will estimate for a roof with at least three faces. And you put in the number of faces in here. So in this case we're going to do a pentagonal roof, a five-sided roof. We can have a face width of two meters. The face width is measured from here to here across the face. The roof radius uh, 1.7 meters. That's measured from the center of the roof to the center of the face, not the hip, but to the center of the face. So it's measuring that distance, but the horizontal linear distance. Roof height. Run of face. Well, at the moment, I don't know the run of the face, but I'm going to use one of these buttons here to calculate. So these three buttons here allow you to calculate the information that's missing. In this case, I want the run of face. Click calculate. It uses the other two measurements to calculate. I have a metrics button down here that just shows you some basic metrics such as the hip length, the face area. This has come up with a question mark because I haven't filled in the uh, horizontal pattern spacing. I'll just fill those in to show you. Alright, so we can see we need 12 button rows per face. This is the, uh, the pitch of the face. Uh, this here is the top angle which is this one here. And here, these are the left and right angles, so that angle there and that angle there, just information in case you need it. You've got a total of the hip lengths there, and you've got the total meter squared for this pentagonal five-sided face. You know, remember, you can have any number of faces. You could put 100 faces in if you want to. Now we go off and select the parts. So we're going to have just throw any old parts on just for the purposes of the demo. Okay, we've selected our parts, did some overboards. Okay, all done. We can click Estimate now. And there you go, there's the estimate, as quick as that. So you've got a breakdown of your labour, you can see the parts, see the names of the parts, part types, quantities, unit prices, subtotal, and your usual figures around here. If you wish to see these in Excel, as per all the other screens, just click Excel. Thank you very much.